Robert Chagulani Sintamu, born 12 February 1982, known by his stage name Bobby Wine, is a Ugandan politician, singer, and actor. He is a former member of parliament for Chattando County East constituency in Wakizo District, in Uganda's central region. He also leads the National Unity Platform political party. In June 2019, he announced his candidacy for the 2021 Ugandan presidential election. He participated in the 2021 election, in which according to official results, he lost, although he claims this result was fraudulent. It is not too late, Mr. President, to do what is right. It is not too late to listen to our cries. Chagulani was born in Nkosi Hospital, where his mother worked as a midwife. He grew up in the Kamwacha slum in the northeastern part of Kampala, the capital city of Uganda. Chagulani attended Keaton Hill School, where he attained his Uganda Certificate of Education in 1996, as well as Kalalo Senior Secondary School, where he attained his Uganda Advanced Certificate of Education in 1998. He then attended Makarare University in Kampala, where he studied music, dance, and drama, graduating with a diploma in 2003. In 2016, Chagulani returned to university to study Bachelor of Laws at the International University of East Africa. Chagulani began his music career in the early 2000s. And adopted the stage name Bobby Robb, similar to his Christian given name, Robert, taking inspiration from Bob Marley, who was also named Robert. He later adapted the stage name Bobby Wine. His first singles, Akagoma, Puntula, and Sunda, brought him success in the Ugandan music scene. His music has been characterized as kidandali, reggae, dancehall, and afrobeat, often with a socially conscious message. He was the leader of the group Fire Bass Crew until its disbandment, after which he started a new group known as Ghetto Republic of Uganda. He has released more than 70 songs over 15 years. In 2016, his song Kawani was featured on the soundtrack for the Disney movie Queen of Catway. <laughs> Bobby Wine's major music genre has always been Afrobeat music. Bobby Wine's music was being sold and promoted by the late Kasiwakira. <laughs> He acknowledged receiving receipts of 60M from his music sales in just one month from Kasiwukira. He also has a fully monetized YouTube channel with tens of millions of views. He has held various concerts and performances in addition to brand endorsements all that bring income to him. He owns a commercial production studio in Kamwakya known as Firebase Records. While studying at Makarare University, Chagulani met his wife, Barbara Idungo, who at the time was an S6 student. Their wedding took place in August 2011 after 10 years of living together and they have four children. Chagulani and his family reside in Major Village, Wakizo District. On 10 February 2015, Chagulani's father died after a lengthy battle with diabetes. One month later, Chagulani released the song, Paradiso, which carries the message of valuing your parents while they are still alive. Chagulani was featured in a 2022 documentary film entitled Bobby Wine. This year's presidential election could see 71-year-old President Museveni serve a fifth term in office. The People's President, which was nominated for Best Documentary Feature Film at the 96th Academy Awards. In April 2017, Chagulani announced his candidacy for Parliament in a by-election for Chattando County East constituency. His door-to-door -door walking campaign attracted attention both in Uganda and abroad. On 24 July 2019, Kayagulani formally announced his bid to run for President in the 2021 general election. On the 22nd of July 2020, he announced that he had joined the National Unity Platform Party, becoming elected its president and presidential flag bearer in the upcoming February 2021 general election. Kayagulani was formally nominated to run for the highest office of presidency on 3 November 2020. 
On 16 January the Electoral Commission announced that Museveni won the election with 58.6% of the vote. Chagulanyi refused to accept the results, claiming that the election was the most fraudulent in Uganda's history. Chagulanyi was placed under house arrest on 15 January, shortly after casting his vote for the presidential election. On 1 February, Chagulanyi challenged the 2021 elections in court, but later ordered his lawyers to withdraw the case.